Hi, today's lecture is find the shortest path using Dijkstra algorithm. We have a cost graph, weighted graph here, and we're going to find shortest path from A to any vertex in this graph. I gave 0A here because you are going to start from this node, and I'm going to give the infinity mark if there's no uh, edge from A. So we have the edge to B, D, C. B, the cost is 3 from A. C, the cost is 2 from A. D is cost and A. And the E and F, we have no edge from A, so I'm going to put the infinity mark here. So from this no green color, 3 to 4, C is the smallest value. So we are going to take a look at the C next. Okay, here, C, we have the edge to A and E. Since we have visited A, I'm going to take a look at the E. E. From C, C value is 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3 to E. So 3 is smaller than infinity. I'm going to put 3, which is from C. Okay, that's it. I'm going to keep these values for next steps. And I'm going to put the infinity mark here. And here, we have the B and E, which is smallest value. You can take any value from B and E, but I'm going to take B here. Okay, B, I'm going to copy this value to here and mark it as green color. Since I can note that I'm in this node. Okay, B has the A, D, F. A we already have visited, so I'm going to take a look. D and F from B. So the D, we need two more. Okay, 3 plus 2 is 5 to D, but 5 is greater than 4, so we are going to keep this value since we want shortest path. Okay, B to F, uh, we have the cost of 5 here. So B is 3 plus 5 is 8, is smaller than infinity. So 8 from B. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to keep these values, this value, 3, 4, 8. Since 3, E is the smallest one, I'm going to go to E. And I mark this one 3, C. And change this color as green color. Okay, from E, we have the G to C, D, F. C, D, F. I'm going to ignore C because you already built it, so we just have a D and F. Let's uh, C, E, 2, D. So the cost is 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So same as current value. So I'm going to keep this value. And E to F, the cost is 2. 3 plus 2 is 5, smaller than 8. So I'm going to put 5, which is from E. Okay, that's it. D and F. D is smaller than F, so I'm going to go D now. And uh, copy this value over here and mark it as green color since we are here. And the D has the edge to A, B, E, F. A, B, E, F. Only F is not is unvisited vertex, so I'm going to uh, see the F from D. Okay. F from D edge is 3, so 4 plus 3 is 7 to F, but the 5 is smaller than 7, so I'm going to keep the 5 here. Okay, only remaining is F, so I'm going to copy this over, copy this over to the next one. I'm going to go to the F, and I mark this as green color. That's it. We have the all shortest paths from the A. Okay, so how can you find the shortest path from A to F? Uh, we can backtrace from these values. So let me insert one text here. So A to F. A to F, we can, we can put F first. And the F came from E. And the E came from C. And the C came from A. Okay, this is a stack, so we are going to pop out. Then A, C, E, F. A, C, E, F is the shortest path from A to F. Okay, another example. How about the A to 
to a to e a to e so we are going to check the e first and the e came from c and the c came from a so this is tag pop out each single item then a c e a c e is the shortest path from a to e that's it okay see you on the next video